Daily Broadside, day 380, which is actually a, a nice uh, compact carry round. Um, as a little aside there, you ever thought about like where all these cars go? We, we manufacture uh, or import millions of cars a year. And if you think about models, uh, specific models uh, by year, you know, the generations of cars, where the hell do they go? Let's take the Ford Taurus, for example. It comes out in like 85, 86. They sold like almost a quarter million dollars or a quarter million units of those stupid cars. Hideous vehicle. But people loved them for whatever reason because it was a smaller, more eco-friendly version of the LTD that was just too big and bulky or whatever reason people bought them. But they were ugly cars. But they were everywhere, right? You couldn't, you know, swing a dead cat without hitting a Ford Taurus in 1987. And by 1989, three years into production, they had sold like a million of those cars, right? So here we are in 2023. We're 34 years removed. It comes out to be like 28, 30,000 cars a year that um, would have to disappear for there to be no more Taurus. Because you don't see that original generation of Taurus anymore. It's weird. Like... And it's not like there's junkyards on every street, you know, like where do these cars go? I know we wreck a bunch of them. Some of them burn down. Some of them are in barns, you know, and just back of people's property and they broke down, blew a head gasket, they parked it, never moved it again, you know, but you would think that the predominance of those cars would still be on the road. You know, millions and millions of cars every year that we bring into the country or we manufacture and birth into this world. Um, and yet, you can't find a 95 Camry, you know, and they're hard to find, right? Um, my first car was an 83 Accord. You can't find an 83 Accord for sale anywhere, you know? Because I thought about buying one. I was like, wouldn't it be cool to just have an old 83 Accord just as like a little beater get around car and take me back to my roots? Um, I don't want to go back to my roots. Um, I would have been seven when that car was made. Uh, but anyway, it, it is, it's, it's weird you know, how all that stuff goes. It's not like we're having cash for clunkers, you know, annually to get rid of all these vehicles. Where the hell did the Tauruses go? Why don't we see them anymore? Um, and I know it's not your mind playing tricks with you because I'm a car guy. I, I pay attention to cars all the time. I'm constantly watching, you know, what passes me on the road. And I mean, I could go months and not see a 80s model Taurus. And yet they were everywhere. Were the engines just that much trash that they all just blew up and died? Um, we don't wreck, uh, you know, a significant percentage of them. It's, you know, it's probably like 15% of cars get wrecked maybe of, of a model year, you know, that are totaled out and, and not ever put back on the road. You know, um, anyway, I say that to say this, the next thing I'd like to say is, uh, I think more gymnasts should get into Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. You talk about somebody who has all the, um, attributes that one would need to be good at that sport you know they're obviously determined they've obviously got you know their mental focus going on because you know if you train to do a pommel horse or those dang rings and all that stuff like that takes a lot of practice to do that you don't just hop up on a pommel horse and just start pommeling if that's a verb um but they, so they've got the massive amounts of strength um especially upper body and their flexibility is off the charts there's two things right there. As long as you're, you're able to mentally think through jujitsu, you've got the three greatest components that one could have. Now they're a little small in stature. I think I think a lot of gymnasts are short. I don't I don't, I don't think that they're usually very tall people. But but so they're not going to have long limbs. They're not going to be John Jones, you know, with the, you know, being able to you know flip your leg over somebody's neck and snap it off. But uh, so that might be one detraction. But uh. In fact, the more I think about it, I know female gymnasts are really, really short, um, but maybe the male counterparts are as well. I don't know. And lastly, if you uh, wheeze at small tasks, like walking up small flights of steps, uh, if your car just automatically pulls into drive-throughs, if you have itches you can't scratch, if you, have your, you can't wipe your own ass, if you wear slip-on shoes because you can't tie your own shoes, like, you need to get some help and stop letting everybody in the world, um, you know, pump you up. You do you, girl. No, don't do you, okay? Stop eating crap and lose weight because you're morbidly obese, you know? I don't understand why, how you would let yourself get to a point where, you know, just simple tasks just wear you out because you're so just morbidly obese. I don't get it. I, I'll never understand it, you know? We all gain weight as we get older, you know? 
you know, I was like 155 pounds in my early 20s. And, you know, I'm, I'm 185, 190 walking around. You know? I mean, and, and I don't look vastly different than I did back then. So, I mean, it comes from somewhere. But, dude, that should be a... Um, it should be somebody pointing at you saying, hey, uh, get a hold of yourself, you know, and quit letting the public and this stupid society we're living in tell you that it's okay to be fat because it's not. There's nothing good that comes from it. That's my Joe Biden talk right there. Not a joke.